Hey, Shalom, Shalom. We are the Diligent Soldier Camp. We are part of the Diligent Soldier Camp out here in Boston, Mass. I am the brother Shemayim, and I'm with the brother Lahab. And we pray to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai that this lesson be edifying to the elect. You know, first and foremost, uh, let's start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahaka, Kodash. We're going to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, who rule well and taught us this truth. We want to say Shalom to the Bayad Dawada and Shalom to the sincere Akwathium who are staying in order according to the scriptures. To you all, we say Shalom. Shalom. So this is, you know, um, December 31st. Uh, 2022 you know um 2023 is literally right around the corner uh -huh. literally you know um and you know what type of spirit the people are in man you know everybody is in the spirit the scriptures call it the spirit of mirth in simple terms you know the people are in the spirit of, of partying having a good time just eating just just uh uh laughing living it up you know and not having a, a a care in the world for 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 their own salvation you know and and to seek the lord man cuz we are in the last in the last seconds okay you know what everybody's waiting for everybody's waiting for that ball to drop you know everybody's gathering you know having feasts you know during that that uh that wrong spirit, if you will, you know. So um, let's get straight to it. You know, uh, I got a, I got a scripture, and then we're gonna just go through the spirit. So, if, brother, if you can get me uh the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter seven, from verse two to four, Baba Kasha. Uh, Ecclesiastes seven and two. Yeah. To verse four. Seven and two to four. So this is the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 7, verse 2. It is better to go into the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. That's right. Sorry. So it is it is better to go into the house of mourning, man. This is not saying that you always got to be sad crying woohoo f life and all that no because when we say we hate this life we mean it as we say it boldly as lines we hate how how uh you know wickedness is flourishing we hate how how you know folly is set at great dignity we hate how you know uh everybody listens to the to the uh the the rich man when he speaketh but they don't listen to the poor man you know, the world was given to the hand of the wicked. So when we say we hate this life, it's because we hate all this wickedness that is flourishing, like I mentioned. It's not that we like, oh, I'm going to commit suicide. No, we're waiting for the Lord to come back and, and, and you know, uh, redeem us and set us and set us back, you know, um, in our righteous place, which is, you know, to be the new judges and kings of the world to come under the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, our king of kings. That's right. You no, know? so when we in the house of mourning, we out here, we focus, okay? We we understand that Esau, Edom, so-called white man, has all these feast days, all these so-called holidays, and we're not in that spirit. We out here serious. Right, it uh the 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 Lord is showing His signs through through pestilence, right? The Lord is destroying the economy inward part. And all we doing is we rejoicing, but we serious. The Lord is allowing Esau to put his holidays and all this shit. We just serious, man. Mm -hmm. We're not in this joyful spirit, man. We're not we're not in your same spirit. You know, people having um uh, birthdays and all that. We're not in that spirit, man. That's right. Hey, we serious, man. We 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 uh. We are measuring the time diligently in itself, right. you know? And, and the brother read that it says, for that is the end of all men, right? Because you guys are in the house of feasting. You guys are just worried about having a good time. 
or we gotta go and spend time with the family and and and, and you know and and you know even though it's i might not this is how a lot of people say i don't even celebrate the 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 holiday but you know we we getting together with family and you know just having a good time and all right cool you're still in that spirit man because you're not seeking the lord you're not seeking the lord man if you get that food are you praying over it see what i'm saying you got to understand that that our people is not in the right spirit, man. Our people is in the wrong spirit. That's right. Continue, brother, in verse 3. Yep. There's Ecclesiastes 7 and 3. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Right. I always say this, man, and, and I want to be able to one day break it down properly the way that my spirit feels it. When a person is always smiling, always giggling, always cheesy, and they look into your face, hey, how you doing? You know, hey, you know, hey, hugs, you know, uh, hey, hey, man. They have a fake spirit on them, right? That 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 spirit of mirth on them, you know. It's like a, it's like it's like two face, man. It's they they're hypocrites. You got to be, you got to be aware of a person that's always smiling, always cheesy, man. They do their shit at your job when you see these Edomites, man. You got to be able to discern these people and read their spirits, right? Sorrow is better than laughter. For for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Listen, man, when I go through shit, when the Lord uh puts me through situations, through tribulations, uh through uh um how does the scripture go brother uh through the chastising right, right when the lord allows me to go through this what is the lord what is the lord doing the lord is humbling us man right. so when the lord humbles you and he puts you through though that type of uh, uh walk right it 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 makes you um understand it makes you be able to see clearly now right you know, it makes you analyze yourself, you know, self-examine yourself. Right. You know, it makes you, uh, uh, you know, um, yeah, man, it makes you self-examine yourself. And you start seeing clearly, you start analyzing everything around you, what's actually happening. Right. Compared to when you just, uh, it, hey, man, when you always just in the spirit of mirth, laughing, having a good time, it's like when you're drunk. Right. When you drunk, you just smiling, having a good time. You walking there, you walking there. Your mind is going left and right left until you just get hit and you just come back to the world. Right. And now you're like, oh shit! Like, damn, I was I was slacking, I was goofing around, you know, I was being a fool. I was over here just trying to like, you know, have a good time and and, and want to just please the flesh and you know, f woman and f another woman and and then you get what I'm saying. Right, you, you in a in a in a blind spirit, man. That's that huh. spirit of mirth, that always smiling, happy, and all that, man. I'm not I saying other that. brothers we don't we don't smile, have a good time, and all. No, man, we're not over here. We're not salty or f, f or, you know. I hate my life, nah, man. We hate this world and the life we're in, you know. And I explained it already, but we're not in this depression or or you know uh. Yeah, man, we don't have this depression, this worry, depression, this low level, you know, insecurity, insecure, low self esteem. No, man, we man of the Lord. Right. You know, the the there's a scripture. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna let you get what you what you got, brother, so I can look up for the scripture. You know. Nah. Oh, yep. So this is uh just to back up what you were saying about you know these uh people in the world, you know, Jakes and and you know heathens and whatnot, uh. Being in that, uh, you know, smiling, smiling, everything's all good. That, you know, persona that they're trying to push, right? Uh -huh. It's Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Sirach, 19 and 29. And it reads, a man may be known by his look and one that hath understanding by his countenance when thou meetest him, right? So we can know, you know, through discernment, when, when, when we're dealing with a, a simpleton, man, you know, as the scripture say in Proverbs uh, 1, the first chapter, it says, how long, oh, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, man? Talking about you Israelites. But, you know, there's a lot of Israelites, you know, 
uh, uh, men and women of our nation that walk around, like the brother says, smiling and shit is grand and everything, being simple, man. Right. They have no clue. But as scripture says, right. and, uh, uh, a man may be known by his look and one that have understanding by his countenance. Now, you, we, us brothers know when we encounter uh, even, a, even a Jake in the world, the way that they look, the way that their face contours when you say so, you could tell if they're understanding you or if they're bullshit. You right. know what I'm saying? There's there's certain face you know facial expressions that people have when you could see if they're you know if you're studying them or or paying attention or using your discernment or brothers you know that uh, pray for more and more discernment. You could tell pretty much what the person's thinking and if they're bullshitting you or not. If right. they're really a simpleton or if they actually do right. have one. You could tell what they worried about. You know, right. the right. conversations that you have with them, you know, and then the facial expression, which is their countenance, their face. You could see what upsets them, what worries them. And right. you get to a point that you realize that one, these people don't care uh, 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 they don't care nothing about saving their souls. They no. truly don't care about the Heavenly Father Yahweh or His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai. Nope. Like all they care about is this world, progressing in this world. That's right. You know, like it's 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 um it's obvious what type of spirit these people in, man. You know, for for uh. This should be straightforward, you know. I got the scripture, you know. Is they love the world, man. Right, bro. That's exactly what it is. They love the world. You know, you tell them things like, "Listen, man, uh, the economy's gonna crash. We're gonna go to a cashless society. You know, they're gonna bring in the MOT to the B. You know, which is the the M A R K physical, the physical M A R K. You know, of the beast." You know, and you won't be able to buy or sell. And, and you know, they either think it's BS, that won't happen, or they just worry like, damn, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, they, they, they take it to a point as, not as, oh, man, my soul is going to be destroyed. And if the, MO, if the MOT to the B is coming, that means the Lord is coming. They don't see it like that. They see it like, yo, how am I going to function life? What am I going to do? How are we gonna how are we gonna continue flourishing? How are we gonna uh uh you know how are we gonna keep uh um roof over our heads? They say all these different things. Yeah, you know, let me let me bring out the scripture, you know. Uh first John chapter two, verse fifteen. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. See, when we have conversations with people and we tell them all the things that they're going to lose of this world, that's what, like, bothers them, right? It bothers them because why? Hey, brother, if you can get me, you know, wisdom and knowledge shall be their stability. Right. No, it bothers them because ultimately they don't, they don't have, the Lord is not dealing with them. All right? They, the Lord is not dealing with them. They don't, they don't feel, uh, uh, uh. They don't, they're faithless, right? Every, every situation they go through, their answer, they get it from the so-called white man. See, the so-called white man has gave you a, a easy life, man. In this world, you can become a sodomite. In this world, you can dress however you want, however you want. In this world, you can be, you can be a, a slob. And, and when I mean that, I mean like a lazy, uh, a lazy, uh, um, What's that word when you're when you're overweight? A lazy, obese person, and 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 it's okay in this world. You can do whatever you want and not be hold accountable. Right in this world, like like you can be soft and effeminate. Right, like literally, you can in this world you you can do whatever you want, man. You can be an adulteress. You can commit idol like idolatry. Yep. Worship all the gods. In this world, you don't gotta believe in God. And this world, all you gotta do is work, be in that in that in that uh uh, uh rat cycle. And some people even make it make a couple dollar good dollars in the in the rat cycle, so they feel comfortable, they're relaxed, they're at ease, 
right? They got their clothes, their cars. It ain't no mansion. It ain't no porch, you know, but they got their clothes, their cars, their house, and they're relaxed, man. Yep. Right? They don't, they don't need God. You know? Oh, uh, you got that? Like, yep. They, you know, they feel like they don't, they don't, they don't mm-hmm. need to be saved because they're already, that's why that, you know, we're already saved. They're already. That's right. Already that's so, so when you tell them things like what's about to happen, they don't think like, oh man, let me, let me get out of this world in the sense of, let me not, let me stop following her ways, her philosophies. The scriptures call it wine. They don't say, let me, let me stop following the wicked ways of the world and seek the Lord and seek the kingdom and seek salvation so that when shit hits the road, I can be, I can be protected and taken care of by the Lord. That shit don't even come in their mind. That don't even, that don't even, it's, you know how something passed over you? It don't, even, it don't even come near to pass over them. It's not even in the, in the spirit. It's not even in the, in their mind. It's not in the, in their vocabulary to even seek the Lord, man, to even say, let me seek the Lord. These people is like, hold up. How, how can, like the brother, how can I keep this house over my, how can I keep this house? How can I keep getting clothes? How can I keep getting woman? How can I keep getting my job? Listen, man, all these answers is going to be resolved by the so-called white man by giving you a, a, a M-A-R-K, man. Right. But that's going to be your damnation. Uh, that's going to be your demise. That's right, bro. Right? But what do the man of the Lord has? This is why you get scared when we tell you these things. Instead of seeking the Lord, you seek for the so-called white man for help. Or, or, on top, or, or even if you don't seek for him, Cause subconsciously you do, but you just you just uh, uh, avoid what we say, and you and you and you keep living life like it's not gonna happen. You know, right. and you and you get scared of the worldly things, man. But don't ever seek the Lord. That's right. Can you get that real quick, John? I got I got a quick one just for what you said, real quick, bro. So like quick. This is uh Isaiah one and three. It reads, the ox knoweth his owner. That's right. Ass, you know, and the ass is master's crib. That's right. So the ox, right, the animal knows his owner. And the ass going into the donkey, right, he knows his, his master's crib. Right. right. Continue. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. That's right. So, so these animals, right, know their 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 place they know their home they know where they stay they know who who owns them their owner right but israel does not consider right israel is talking about you so-called blacks latinos and native american you don't know who your owner is you don't know who your creator is you're out here worshiping idols you're out here worshiping a so-called white man, the creation. You're out here worshiping woman, the creation. Right? A lot of you people are worshiping uh uh Mary. Mm-hmm. Trying to trying to uh 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 make her happy. This is all your demise, man. You don't know who your creator is, man, which is your owner. You do not consider, you do not seek the Heavenly Father. You do not seek his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. You do not seek Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Right. Our people do not consider. And that's going to be your demise. Because right. the scripture says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run into it and are saved. You know, roughly paraphrasing it. So if you do not consider who your who your owner is, right? What you think is going to happen to you when, when these hard times uh come about? Right. We are already, you know, the doors of, of Jacob's trouble is open. So we're seeing little glimpses there and there, you know, here and there. This is the year of turn up. We're seeing how the Lord is turning up, man. How the Lord is judging this place. How the Lord is slowly destroying this economy. So the door of Jacob's trouble is open. It's only a matter of time for the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, you know, through through the Spirit allows the whole world to go through this, man. Especially you Israelites, man. Right. It'll go to Jacob's trouble, Right. But the man of the Lord, in the flesh, they might be somewhat worried. But in the spirit, we acknowledge and understand that this must come about. And we trust in the Lord. We trust in the Lord. 
that we're going to be taking care of in these last days, man. We hope that we found that numbers are hopefully elect. Right? right. So this scripture that the brother about to bring out is 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 uh, it should be a faith booster in his in his our strength, our wisdom in the in the sights of all the nations. Right. Right. Because even our people that don't consider, they don't have this this gift, which is a stability. And what's that stability? The brother's gonna bring it out. Right. Isaiah thirty three is six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. That's and right. Yep, you got it, brother. Yep, and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Shai, is his treasure. That's right, man. Wisdom and knowledge shall be our stability. The fear of the Lord shall be our treasure. Right? People don't have a uh, 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 fear of the Lord, man. So if you don't have fear of the Lord, I mean, you're not being blessed with this wisdom and knowledge. I'm telling you, man, like... Right. You think just because you're following these these holidays, right? You got you got lights, you got beers, you got liquor, you got food, you got family members, colorful lights, you got music. Um and, and in your mind is like, yo, I'm not physically hurting nobody. You're like, it's for the kids. The kids are happy, my family's happy. Your mind, you're like, I'm not physically hurting nobody. I'm not, I'm not, you, you, that mind that you have, right, is going back to that spirit of mirth. You are blinded. You don't fear the Lord. You're not, you don't even consider seeking the Lord. You think that you're not doing nothing wrong, so, so, so you all right. You think you're going to be taken care of. You're not doing nothing. You're not hurting nobody, physically harming nobody. Well, let me tell you this, man. You already think it's just for the kids. Oh, it's just for grandma, just for grandpa. It's all for the kids. You know, it's all it's all presents, hugs, you know, lights, colorful lights, food, music, sex, right? Yeah, because a lot of people are gonna be coming adultery, man. Oh yeah. In these days, man. Yep. Right? This tonight, all this spirit yeah, brings alone. in right. What right. happened? So I said tonight alone, they're gonna be committed. that's right. A lot of people are gonna be coming adultery, man. Right. Coming all these wicked acts, and you think you're not hurting nobody. Well, let me tell you something, man. You hurt, you're you you're, you're uh, uh, damning your own self, your own spirit, and you damning everybody that you're teaching that your ways is okay, that you think you're not hurting nobody. So your children that you celebrating their birthdays, your children that you celebrating Christmas with, the children that you celebrating New Year's with, yeah, their blood is on your hand. You see, you don't see this. You don't see this. Now, put it this way, right? This is the type of spirit that you're in, right? The spirit of mirth. So when, when, look what's happening in China right now with the FEMA camps, right? Because of this um crown pestilence. Um, when that shit comes over here, and you see martial law, you see the military, you know the 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 police being completely defunded, right? You see the military kicking all these houses. Right, grabbing people, snatching people up, bringing them into the FEMA camps. You see the people uh uh fighting back. Right, you see uh you see all these other nations fighting each other. You're gonna see the so-called white man and other nations fighting against the police. That's that sedition among men, fighting against mayors, governors, presidents, going against them. You see all this shit happening, chaos. Right? They're gonna see you, right? And they're gonna take your wife, they're gonna take your daughter, they're gonna ravish them. They're going to kill you. They're going to take your food. They're going to take your supplies. You out here, I'm I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I got guns. I, I'm ready. Ain't no one going to come into my house. You got that spirit, right? You you arrogant. You prideful. Man, the Lord is going to, is going to, is going to, the scriptures speak about how it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power, man. Right. And the Lord knows what, what's your, what your fear is. And the Lord is going to humble you, man. But he's not gonna humble you to allow you to to change. He's gonna he's gonna take you to the spirit world, right? right. But, but the man of the Lord, if they're not in that spirit, right? This is what I'm saying. The uh, going back, right? Going back to uh, what the brother was reading in Ecclesiastes, right? Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. That's Ecclesiastes mm -hmm. seven and three, right? Because we are in this uh serious spirit, 
Because we are in the house of mourning, right? Sorrow is better than laughter. We're able right now, while the world is partying and living it up, we're watching. Mm -hmm. We're watching, right? We we understand what's about to come, and we getting prepared as a good servant. That's right, bro. Blessed is the servant the Lord shall find so doing. We getting prepared right now. Physically, nah. Mentally, yes. Which goes into your la lahab. How you how you say it, brother? Lahab? Lahab. Yep. Lahab, which goes into your mind, your spirit. That's right. That's right, bro. You understand? So spiritually we getting ready because this is a spiritual warfare. You don't understand the spirit of mirth you have is demons on you. So we right. getting ready spiritually. We're doing what the Lord wants us to do. We giving warning to the people. So when the time comes and we walking out here. Lord willing, when the police kick in the neighbor's door or the military, the Lord has a spirit on them to, like, miss our house and go to the next house. Uh -huh. Lord willing, when we dip from our crib and we're like, no man, as the scripture says, and then we hungry, and then we see some our house get broken into, and, and those people get taken out by the military, and they, and they take them away, and they leave, and then we just walk in, then we get the food. That's we right, get bro. the drinks. Right? This is that stability because we know this is going to happen. We know that the elect is going to be taken care of. You know, uh, do you have some, brother? I was thinking yeah, about some, bro. Come yep. on, you got it. Does it back you up uh, with, you know, the spirit that we're in, you know, right now? This is uh, James 4 and 9. It says, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up, man. That's you know, right. Back up what the brother was just saying, you know, because the Lord did say that, you know, uh, uh, he will lift up a standard, you know, against them. When when those, when those stormtroopers start rolling on brothers, you know, he's going to lift up a standard. And there's another scripture that I was um, trying to uh, um, remember. Um, how's it go? Bless when blessed are you. Uh, oh, man. Blessed are you. When no that, one... Well, that more now. No, no, no. That how's it go? I think I'm saying it backwards. That mourn shall so they shall laugh. Did, I, did we get that one already? Because the Lord mm -hmm. is gonna flip everything. The Lord's gonna flip everything right side up because everything's upside down right now. Right. You I'm know? trying to look for it. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember. Um, I got it. Oh, you got it. Is it Luke, right. right? Uh I got it in Matthew. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So this is uh Matthews five and four. Right, it says, "Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted." Right. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Oof, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, mm -hmm. for they shall be filled. Oof. See, right. so if you in that spirit of mourning, meaning if you going through it right now, you being afflicted, the scriptures speak about how take cheerfully when that shall be brought down low. Right. Because like I said, we're not, you know, uh, he that, like I read earlier, you know, uh, he that loves the world, the father, the, the love of the father is not in him. That's right. Right. So, so if we, if we, if we don't love the world and we seeking, if we don't love the world and we're seeking the Lord, we're going to be hated by the world. So we're going to go through afflictions. We're going to get it from our own people. We're going to get it from strangers. You know, we're going to get it from our own family members, which includes our own people. You know, we're going to get it from Esau, Edom coming after us because they know we out here exposing these devils. Right. right so we're going to go through affliction, man. Right. So we got to take it cheerfully, man, because we understand why we're going through this path. Right. We're going to a lot of us are going to be embarrassed. Belittled. You know. That's right. Yeah, man. So bless are they that mourn for they shall be comforted, man. We're going to be comforted. All right, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth, man. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Are you thirsting and 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 uh and are you in hunger and and, and in thirst for righteousness? If you're in the spirit of mirth, nah. You're not. You're not. Okay. Do you have another scripture that that, that goes with that with, with that blessed? Um, I have um 
Well, 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 it's kind of going into the other part because you know we're kind of going back and forth between the the, the what's going to happen to the lowly, the ones that are taking the low, you know, the meek of the earth, and then what's going to happen to the uh, the ones that are celebrating. I got one right. for the ones that are celebrating. I don't know if it comes out right now. Gone. So, so it's that balance, right? Exactly. You no, know, like what's well, how the Lord is going to take care of the people that are in the right spirit. And how these people that are in that wrong spirit, how they gonna suffer in the last days, man? Right, right, bro. So I got uh, well, yeah, well, yeah, just to just to balance it out, uh, through the spirit, um, what's so now we you know the Lord said He's gonna take care of the meek, the lowly, the ones that are are mourning in the mm -hmm. house of mourning right now. So now let's get what's gonna happen to the ones that are in the in the spirit of mirth, as the brother was saying, right? That's right. This is this is uh Isaiah 66 and 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And that word plead goes into judgment with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. And it's the point right here, because this is the spirit that uh um majority of you Israelites are in, man. Since That's right. uh, things killing, birthdays. Right. Christmas that just passed, and now we're in the, the uh, New Year's Eve, man. Right. This is uh, Isaiah 66 and 17. And this is prophecy, by the way. This is prophecy. This is exactly. future prophecy in the book of Isaiah. Right. How when the Lord Yahweh sons his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, right? right? The Lord Yahweh Shai is going to slay a lot of men. A lot of people. A lot of men. Of Slain of the Lord shall be many. There'll be many. Right. This is uh, Isaiah 66 and 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination in the mouth shall be consumed together. That's right. The howl. That's, That's right, man. The heavenly father right there, man. So for a lot of you people that are eating abominations right now, that swine flesh, mm -hmm. listen, man, you're going to be judged. A lot of you Christians like to claim that you are, you are a righteous Christian, man. You try to claim that, yo, I'm not a Catholic. I don't follow the Catholic ways. I'm a different Christian. My church don't follow this. My church don't got statues. My church don't got pictures on the walls, on the on the glass. I go to my church and my preacher is an Edomite, but he's a good man. You know, we still eat swine. You know, a lot of you people try to proclaim that you're a righteous Christian, man, and you still out here eating swine. Yep. You're going to be taken out, man. Especially in these holidays, our people love to eat swine in these holidays, man. Crazy. It's like it's like that's what you guys go to. That's your number one food. That's the easiest, and it's crazy. Swine is not the easiest thing to cook. You guys think it is, because you're 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 uh you're sottish, but it's not because the physical aspect of swine. You can't, you, people say you got to put it through a couple stages of cooking it, cooking a couple times so that it can kill all the, all the, uh, the worms. You don't kill that shit, man. You do not kill the worm. That shit continues. That's right, bro. So, so the, the, the wicked the ones that are in this spirit of mirth, you're going to be slain by the Lord, slayed by the Lord. Right. Now, Con, I, 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 you got it. Yeah, you got it. Guys, just to, uh, you know, back up. You know, with the mirth, right? What's um what's the scripture, bro? When it says um, knowing that these things shall uh, the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What manner of person shall we be, right? Uh -huh. So this is the mind state, the um, state of mind that us brothers have, man. You know, knowing what's coming, right? And the Lord speaks about this in, through the different prophets throughout the scriptures, right? So this is Ezekiel. 21 and 9, and it reads, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and fur also furbished, right? A sword is used for destruction, man. You don't use a sword to give hugs and gifts and, you know what I'm saying? No, right. you, you might give somebody a sword as a gift, but I mean, if they got to use that sword, they're doing some fucking right. damage with that shit. Hey, listen, man, there, there's a, uh, there's a, uh... There's good consequence, and there's and there's bad consequence. Right. All right. So that that sword 
is your consequence. For right. the righteous, we're gonna we're gonna the scriptures say how um how we're gonna see, you know, we're gonna see the Lord, you know. Uh, I forgot what scripture is, you know. Um, but through the spirit, you know, the wicked's gonna be taken out by that sword, from right. ICBM right. missiles. But God. the righteous is gonna see that salvation. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. The scripture says it in the book of Revelation, if I, if I may, right, brother. It says yep. it how we're gonna we're gonna be in the chariots and we're gonna see like a like a like a sea of fire. Right, right. Yeah, what yeah, I'm I saying. So we're gonna. That's that sword. That's it. That, that's that's a good consequence, bad consequence. Right. When we see the sword, like the brother says, that gift. We are gonna Lord willing, we in that number. We are right. gonna see the destruction of the wicked. We are gonna see Esau, Edom getting taken out right before our eyes, which is we right. hope to see that man. You hope to see the uh the reward of the wicked man. You know? Beautiful, beautiful. Right. So I just and this is the point real quick, bro. Before you get your scripture, Ezekiel twenty one and ten. It is sharpened the sword to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Mm. It condemneth the rod of my son as every tree. So that's the point right there. We that's know right. the instructions coming. Why should we be in the spirit of mirth, man? And that's right. why we come out here, you know, go to the highways and byways and do these lessons, these uh, digital epistles, as a brother Malak always, you know, brings out mm -hmm. to give warning onto our people. Why are you celebrating when we been brothers have been warning of the coming destruction? That doesn't even make sense, man. You're not in the, the right frame of mind. You know, that's right. So now I got a preset for that. I right? uh -huh. go straight to it. This is why we're going out in the highways and byways and warning you, right? Because why are you in that spirit of mirth? If we're warning you, what's going to happen? So this is, this is, this, right. look, at, hear this. This is for you brothers out in the highways and byways, right? Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Right. And set a mark. That mark is a tawa. That right. spiritual mark, right? It's a mark of, of exemption. Exemption of what? Of this destruction. That's right. All right? And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations. You see? This is this is the, a perfect scripture proving what I mean when I say that we hate this world. Right. Not in the sense that as we're weak, we're 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 uh, uh, low self esteem. Oh, you know, I uh, I want to go, I want to go send myself to the spirit where I want to off myself. Nah, man, right? This is what it's saying. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of. Everything out here in this world that is wicked is an abomination. It is disgusting to the Lord, man. You sodomites, all this, all this trans movement, this LGT, ABZ, you know, whatever you guys want to call yourselves, you know, you guys are putting a uh, pedophilia in there. You know, all this is an abomination to the Lord, man. How women are over men, that's an abomination to the Lord. How you woman is prideful and arrogant and independent, that's an abomination to the Lord. How you men is effeminate, that's an abomination to the Lord. That you guys are eating swine, that's an abomination. You guys are eating shrimp, lobster, crab, that's a clam, that's an abomination to the Lord, man. You guys are having all these uh, uh celebrating the, the ways of the heathens, following the ways of the heathens, Christmas trees, uh, uh, you know, all these colorful colorful lights you know you in this wrong spirit that's an abomination to the lord man right. and the lord's gonna put a mark that's a wall that spiritual mark of exemption on the man that sigh and cry man that's right. that what that's that spirit of mourning that's right you see because we're 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 we're, we're uh through the spirit of the Lord, able to see the wickedness that is upon this world, man. And it's an abomination to the Lord, so it's an abomination to us as well. We we right. hate it, man. We hate that wickedness and, and folly is sad, great dignity. That's right. You know? So it's for you brothers, man. The Lord is going to put that, that spiritual mark in your forehead, man, if you sign a crime, man, against all this abomination. Right. Okay? You got something, brother? Yeah, just to back you up, I got Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift to show up the heart. And so like the brother said, you know, we're sighing and crying for all the abominations that are done in the midst of us, man. That's and right. Then when you read the uh, 
um, the eighth verse, Ecclesiastes 7 and 8, right? Because we're hastening the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man, to get us out of this hellhole. Ecclesiastes 7 and 8, it says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, man. That's the right. Patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. And we're patient, meaning patient meaning to suffer. And we're we're hastening the day that this place will end, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We, this, this is nothing but hell on earth, man. For us That's right. You know? That's right. We, you know, we can't we can't wait for this place to get destroyed. We're not in the spirit of mirth because what is there to ce uh, celebrate? We're about to go through Jacob's trouble, man. That's right. All hell is about to break loose. But we are happy in the spirit because we know that we're that much closer to the kingdom of heaven, man. Mm -hmm. you know can, you, can you go to verse 4, Baba Kasha, in that same chapter? Khan. Oh, yeah, we just went down a little bit. Hey, that's the spirit. <laughs> I didn't even realize I had looked it up in another tab. So Ecclesiastes <laughs> 7 and 4, uh, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. That's right, man. So the how the the uh heart of the wise. Hold up. How does it go, brother? Yep. The the, the heart, heart of the wise is in the house yeah. of mourning. So the heart of the wise are in the in the house of mourning, man. But the right. heart of a fool, the Lord is calling you a fool, man, if you're just in the house of, of mirth. You right. see? So so what type of spirit should you be in? You know, I got that scripture that you wanted me to uh, that you were looking for. No, Khan, the water. I don't remember. Where is it? Salakia. Khan, 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Right? That great noise is talking about the, the impact caused, mm -hmm. right, by the ICBM missiles. Right. It says, and the element shall melt with fervent heat. So the we element, so, yeah, we, slot, I was gonna you say, got it, brother. So with with destruction coming, you know, and brothers, you know, we always uh talk about the um the movie Judgment Day, Terminator. You know, Sarah Connor when she was on that fence and that, you know, they heard that great noise and then it was a blinding light. And then she fucking set she that fervent heat, she just lit on fire. And then there was that as uh, Apostle Gabar always brings out, that besom of destruction, that it's like sweeping agent, it was that that destroying wind, as it talks about in, in the book of Isaiah. You know, so we knowing that all this calamity, destruction, uh, heartache, you know, uh, uh, fear, terror, all these things, calamities that are going to come upon the planet. You know, what 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 spirit should you be in, man? In the mm -hmm. house of mourning, because you know that these things are coming through the spirit That's of power. Yahweh right. Shimei was shy, man. That's Not right. in the spirit of you know, you know these women going out and twerking, and, and, and you know these men sleeping with uh, uh, other men's wives, partying and dancing. And, you know what? A lot of you, you, you Jakes, man, are in the same spirit as when the uh, uh, the first death happened. When when uh, Con. you know when Noah, you know, right. what I'm saying? the flood, same spirit, man. You know, you partying and dancing. Matter of fact, I'll grab that too, real quick, while you read that. Um, until the it, it, they they didn't um they were marrying and giving into marriage until the waters came and took them, man. That's the same exact spirit that you know you you foolish people that are in the spirit of mirth are in, man. And as the scriptures say, since the the word you know roughly paraphrasing, so since the word had went out and they heard it, they will have no cloak for their sins, man. You will have no excuse. The Lord will will basically be like you were warned, and you chose not to listen. So this is the blood is on your hands, man. That's right. You want me to finish this? Yeah, go on. So if you can start from the top again. Time, Second Peter three and ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Mm. Okay, continuing verse 11. This is the point. Seeing, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. You see? So seeing this, so knowing 
that these things are gonna come to be, okay? And knowing that this fire is gonna is gonna is gonna uh even melt the elements. The scriptures talk about how how the heavens, how the heavens shall shall be dissolved, right? Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right. Man, I'm going to tell you this, man. Right? I'm the type of person that I have had family members telling me you have changed. You know, uh, every time I talk to you, all you, all you talk about is the scriptures. You know, uh, I want to know how you're doing. I want to know how you're doing. But you like, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's what I have family members tell me that. And through the spirit, man, change is something that we can't uh, control. The Lord mm -hmm. makes change. And this change that you people think that we should have as change uh, as stop speaking about the scriptures and come back to the world. That's see, we change from the world to following the Lord with all our spirits, all our heart, all our might. See, that's that change the Lord a lot. And this is not why we are uh, a new creature. The scriptures speak about how, as, as says, speaks about how as the outward man perish, the inward man is renewed day by day. Right. right? So listen, we have that balance. You know, some of us, we like uh, drinking our liquor, our wine. Some of us like sports. Some of us, like me, myself, I like like animation, like anime, you know, Dragon Ball Z. The brothers like Marvel, stuff like that, you know. So we have that balance. You get what I'm saying? Like, we 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 we, we balance uh, uh, a false balance is an abomination. So, yes, we speak about certain things of the world. You know, but then ultimately, like, I can't, I can't, um, I can't go a day without bringing up a scripture or even praising the Lord that day. You know, I'll speak to the brother. We'll be speaking about some, some Marvel character and then we'll compare it to the scriptures. Right. You'll be like, yo, that's how it's shy, man. That's what how shy's going to do to the world. You get what I'm saying? Like, we're always in, in holy conversation. You see, the, the the Lord might put the spirit on the brother to come and, and rebuke us. The Lord might put the spirit on the brother to come and put that fire under us to always maintain in the word, always maintain in the work, always maintain and, and seeking the kingdom first. That's Amen. the type of spirit we got to be in, man. Right. You see? I got, a quick, I got a quick one for you just to back up what you just said, you know, with the family members. This is uh, Psalm uh, 119 and 78. It says, let the proud be ashamed. For they dealt perversely with me without a cause. Mm -hmm. But I will meditate in thy precepts, man. So, That's you know, right. just because, you know, brothers are, you know, trying to be righteous and follow after Yahweh by Shimei, I was shy. You know, they 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 deal with us perversely. We didn't, it's not like we did anything. All we're doing is reading the Bible. Why, why, why is that such a problem? But they deal with us perversely without a cause, man. But what does the scripture say? But I will meditate in thy present uh, uh precepts, precepts man so we're going to continue to meditate as a brother was saying we, we can't go a day without right. thinking and meditating on the scriptures man That's all right. day every, even if even if it's like you know in the midst of folly i i was i'll speak for myself and i know the brother can agree i'll see i could i could be watching you know i could be on world star you know, maybe I'm like, I say to myself, I'm going to try to find a video. And then I get all into that bullshit, that folly. And then before I know it, I can see a clip that's a minute and 44. And I said, oh, man, I got to get back. I got I to gotta pay. Like, I, I I got lost in right. it real quick. You know, and the Lord's like, all right, step out of it. Get right, out of that right, right. Back to, you know what I'm saying? And it's, you know, but we always meditate on the scriptures, man. It's always Yahweh by Shimei was shy first in, in our family. Are gonna hate us for it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not the way we used to be. We're not of the world. You know, we 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 step. We we you know um, how the scripture go? Um, you always quote it too, bro. Damn, uh, I think he quoted it earlier. I I think I got it. Is it the love not the world? I have it. Gone. Yeah. If you could. Bring nah, it I up. wanted to bring it back. So First John two and fifteen, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. Right. Think about go. this, man. There's going to be a lot of fornication tonight, man. Oh, yeah. 
On these holidays, man. Right now, as we speak, man. Right, there's gonna be a lot of adultery, man. Mm -hmm. Adultery happening for all for all that is in the world. All these pagan days, these holidays, this spirit of mirth is having a good time. Who right now is praying to the Lord? Now, don't get it twisted. I know, I know certain right. Christians. I know, like, like my wife, like her family is on, is on, um, like them Christians, you know. And I guess they're in church right now to one, even though they they going off, and they still, you know, worshiping JC, and they going into a temple and all this. Listen, man, the Lord says you're gonna show mercy on who you're gonna show mercy. That's right. Yeah, what I'm saying. So. Listen, Ali, at least they doing that. I'm not with that, but other people are not doing that. You get what I'm saying? At least they have a zeal. Right, at least they got and the zeal. Trying. Even though, right, right, right. Some people, man, they don't even, they, they hey, man, you know what You know what that made me think of? The scripture says uh, they're putting it off, to, off, off and off, if you can get that. Right, you know, right. They, they point it off um, day and day or whatever. Oh, uh, um, I know exactly what you're talking about. Con, and then, they, you know what, uh, real quick. Um, they're in the same spirit of uh of Esau, man. The majority of people, as the scriptures say, the Most High is not in all their thoughts, man. They're not. They're not mm -hmm. thinking about uh yeah, how right. much at all. That's right. Or, or JC, they're just thinking about pleasing the flesh, as you was reading. That's bro. right. So First John two and sixteen: For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. You see, going back into that, if you're in that spirit of mirth, you're in that spirit of pride. No one can tell you shit. You don't got to listen to nobody. you just worried about yourself in the sense as you just want to continue in your falliness, not worrying worrying about yourself in the sense I'm seeking salvation. See? Right. See how that's two different spirits right there? Mm -hmm. And the pride of life is not, it's like it, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And right. the world passes away. And the luster of, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Mm. This world, right, in the sense of Esau, Edom being in control, right? All these holidays continuing, right? Uh, uh, these heathens and Esau, Edom being over us. This world's going to pass away in that sense. That's right, bro. Okay? The world given, being handed to the hand, the world is given to the hand of the wicked. That's going to pass away. But them, right? But they, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. We're going to get it. We're going to get immortality, man. That's right. Because we're seeking the Lord. We're in the, we're in the house of mirth. That's right. See? You got it, brother. And then I, I we can, uh, do you have another scripture uh, after that? No, actually, this is, it, yeah, fitting to, uh, did you call for it? Yeah. You know, God, so uh, let me let me bring out a scripture and then I we'll finish off with the one you have. Fine, sounds good, bro. Just got my uh, charger. You got it, bro. Con. So this is the book of Matthew, chapter six, verse thirty-three. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You see? Going back, you see, that's the spirit. Like, cause didn't we read the earlier? Those, those that are 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 in hunger and in thirst of right. righteousness. Right, right, see? exactly, bro. It says, exactly. "But but seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you." Let's see. Let's see what verse thirty four says. Right, and all these things shall be added onto you, right? Verse 34, take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day of the evil thereof. You right. see? So when you seek the Lord, man, when you seek the Lord, all these things shall be added onto you. We won't even see us. We don't even think about, yo, what we're going to eat tomorrow. Right. But when you in this spirit of the world, you don't know that the Lord is going to take care of you. So this is why you you only afraid of how you can continue living in this world and progressing in this world and not once ever thinking of seeking the kingdom first. Right. You see, right. so when that time comes, you're going to be worried about, yo, what am I going to eat tomorrow? What am I going to dress? How, what am I going to put on tomorrow? Clothing. Where am I going to sleep? You know, uh, uh, but you woman, no more hygiene products. 
get ready, man. We're going into a world of of of, of full on chaos, man. Right. That's right, bro. You know, you won't have a you won't have a, a you woman and men, and uh, especially you Israelites that that don't uh, seek the Lord. You won't have that covering, that hedge over you, that protection. You will be under the Lord's shadow. You won't be under the Lord's wing. Right. You got it, brother. Yep. And that's why, you know, we always um, stress the point, you know, and give the warning to you Israelites, man, to come back onto your power while the doors of mercy are still open, man. And this is yet another warning from, you know, another prophet, uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and 7 says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, man. Don't take your time, you know, and put not off from day to day. You know, don't say, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. Right? Why? For suddenly shall the wrath of Brother Red earlier, the Lord cometh as a thief in the night, right? Suddenly. You don't know a thief's coming. If you did, then you would prepare for it, right? You would you would lock it, you, you know, have your web or whatever. You would make it so it wouldn't happen. But that's why the Lord is coming, because he's going to basically catch a lot of you jakes with your pants down, man. And a lot of you, you fucking wicked ass niggas are going to get caught in the midst of doing some damn adultery with somebody's wife, man. The Lord's going to fuck you up, man. And that's going to happen to a lot of you jakes, man. And women, too, man. A lot of you wicked right. ass jakes, man, got, got hell to pay, man. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and end thy security when you think shit is sweet. You know, got your feet kicked up, rubbing on another, you know, uh, another uh, Jake's woman's booty and shit. And you're in that security, thou shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. You know, so we're, we're, we're constantly coming out and doing these lessons and, and going out to the highways and byways that we're commanded to do to get y'all's blood off of our hands, man. You two third ass niggas, man. But, mm -hmm. we know, we 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 hope. Matter of fact, we'll get that real quick, Salakia. We hope to save, you know, that's, you know, because we love our people. We always talk about it. Um, hey, yo, brother, if you yeah. just give me one second, brother, I got to I gotta uh, go do something real quick. I'll be back. You know? Yeah, yeah, no problem, bro. Salakia, brother. Yeah, no problem, brother. So this is... uh. First Timothy 4 and 16, and it reads, Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, <clears throat> for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. You know? <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is our, our, um, our mission, man. The apostles and elders of GMS on down and like-minded brothers that are teaching the same doctrine through them, you know, going out and teaching for, you know, decades, you know, is the reason that we heard it. And then they're uh, the apostles, elders before them, you know? So we're hoping the way that we heard the word from the brothers teaching that they're hoping to be saved and we're hoping to be saved because we heard it. Now we're teaching. We have entered into the the the, the um into their labors, right? So we're hoping to be uh, uh um saved as well by you know doing what we're commanded, and we're hoping to uh have the brothers and sisters that hear us be saved as well, man. You know, and this is this is this is deadly serious, man. You know, the the calamities that are coming upon the planet. Are no joke, man. You know, matter of fact. The Lord is nothing to be played with, man. The scriptures say the Lord is known by the judgment which he executed, man. Judge, man. Let's see if I can find it like that. Um, let me see, Salaki. Because at the time, the times that we're coming into are evil, man. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get, let's get that. Ephesians, um, 
one is a six. I think it's six. Let's get that. So it says, uh, yep, Ephesians 6 and 10, you know, the armor of, of the Most High. It reads, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles, right, the methods of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in the high places, man. This is what this is what we've been talking about, man. We're wrestling against uh, 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 powers and rulers of darkness of this world. So as a brother had mentioned earlier, you know, a lot of Jake's are like, oh, it's for the kids. Oh, it's no, no. The scriptures talk about how Yahweh is a jealous power, man. And he's That's right. He's all throughout the scriptures where he's like, go to your gods, which you have chosen, and burn, burn incense onto them, call unto them. I will not hear when your when your uh, calamity comes upon you. The Lord is constantly warning about going against, you know, uh, uh, against him and going to other because the word God simply means power. So whatever you give power over you, whether it be money, whether it be women, whether it be these these fucking uh, 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 festivities that you're partaking in, you know, you're giving power onto that. And Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai is not rocking with it, man. And that's why you got you got to get fucked up. So it you might look at it as something simple, but it is it's deadly serious. And that's why we're here to, mm -hmm. to let you know, because, you know, the right. Lord has, you know, bless us with the understanding. You know that 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 oil. You know, and, and, you know, to see, you know, what's going on, man. That's right. And, and if know, I if I may add real quick, brother, you know, uh, uh, Salaki, brother, had to take care of something yeah, real quick. You know, um, yeah, um, that that uh, we we wrestle not against uh uh flesh and flesh and uh, how does it go? Flesh and blood. Yep, I read but, uh, Ephesians six and twelve. We for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. That's right. High That's right. You know, and um, and that includes two factors, man. That includes real demons, and that includes also Esau, Edom, the physical counterpart of of Satan, man. Right. You know, because Satan is using these these Edomites, so called white man, these elites, to push all these wicked uh uh um. Uh, how do I word it? Philosophies, if you will, from all their agendas, from the LGTB, whatever they want to call themselves, to pushing their, their wishcraft in the media through these holidays as well, man. Right? right. Because they're the one that push these holidays and then they're being controlled by Satan. And then what's what's that spirit behind these holidays? Right. They all have an origin. They all have a pagan, uh, a pagan origin. OK, so all these holidays, uh, uh, their origin is satanic. For example, like if you we're telling you that we're wrestling against principalities. Right. So when you worship, when you when you are uh, celebrating Christmas and New Year's, you out here think I'm not harming nobody. But what's behind the spirit of these pagan holidays? Right. It's a demon. Right. This is why you got demons on your kids. This is why your kids be acting up, be, be, be going crazy. This is why you know there's a, adultery happening, right? This is why uh, people are not seeking the Lord and they rather fulfill the lust of the flesh. You see, because you got demons behind it, and you putting a demon on our people, right? By you, by you following these elites, right? The elites are putting demons through their witchcraft and everything, and our people following these uh, religion. They they are allowing demons to jump on them, right? By by our people are uh, following these holidays. They are allowing demons to jump on them, right? You know, so this is this is that uh, this is what we tell you, man. What type of spirit are you gonna be be in? Right, that's right, bro. You got it, brother. Yeah, I probably just got this last one. I guess we could wrap it. Uh, last two, uh, yeah. Uh, actually. Yeah, yeah, this one and then one more, bro. And that's it, yeah. But if you can grab it, the, the one where it says, um, um, oh man, you guys are leaving me. I know it's in Ephesians. Um, you gonna reap what you sow? Oh, no, it's Galatians. Oh, redeeming the times because the days are evil. There it goes. Water, you have a bunch of me outside. Um, so yeah, I'll just read this Ephesians real quick. And, um, yeah, if you can grab that. I think it's like 15. Yeah, it's Ephesians 5 and 16. 
Con. I think, can you start at, I think at 15, said, I think before that, it says something, and then. I got your brother. Con, the water. This, so this is Ephesians 6 and 13. Wherefore, take on to the, uh, onto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, right? Because we talked about Jacob's trouble, you know, and as it says in Daniel, the 12th chapter, first verse, it shall be a time such as never been since there was a nation, man. It's going to be fucking terrible. They got robot dogs and robots with guns strapped to them, drones, all types of shit, man. They got heart attack guns. They got all types of shit. Esau is not fucking playing. As the scriptures say, Revelation 12 and 12, he shall come down with great wrath. Because you know that he have it but a short time, man. You Jake's gotta stop fucking playing around, man. That's right. Twenty twenty three is gonna be a fucking hell of a year, man. That's right. If this, a- if this was the year of turn up and and the Lord turned it, listen, man. What, yo, brother? You know, through a spirit, bro. We mentioned it before we brought up this lesson, but look, look, look how spiritual we're able to analyze it now. Now that I, it came to me. 2023 is going to be a hell of a year, like the brother said. This is a year of turn up, and what did the Lord just do? You know, in in the in these pagan um uh calendar, right? What did the Lord just do before their new year started? The Lord decided to take out a man that is in in the high ranking in the Roman Catholic Church. Right. The Lord decided to take out this man that's a false pastor, a false prophet that he calls himself the Pope. He was the sixteenth the the sixteenth uh, uh I forgot what what he called himself, but I think he's a, the two hundred sixty fifth Pope. Yeah, he was up there. Yeah. yeah. He was but the range. Lord decided to take him out. Mm-hmm. And the brother just mentioned right now how 2023 is going to be a hell of a year. That's right, bro. And the Lord decided to finish off their year by taking out one of these these high-ranking men. Yep. Come right, on, bro. man. Yeah. If that ain't spiritual playing. and you can't right. see it, hey, man. Dang. You know? Yep. So, uh, yeah, Ephesians 6 and 13, wherefore take on to... You the whole armor of the most high that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and That's having right. done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness, man. That's right. You see, and putting on that full armor goes into you um uh what's the word? Uh what's that in, in what's that word when we say, brother, when you uh submerge yourself in this water. Oh. Right, you, you submerge true yourself baptism. in this word, right? The true right. baptism, which is this right. word, man. Right. You know, you you fully being submissive and submit yourself to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, right? right. You being a you being a a, a warrior of Yahweh Shah. You being a prisoner of Yahweh Shah. You being a prisoner of hope. That's right. Fully right. submitting yourself to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, man. Right by you doing that and you having fear in the Lord, the Lord's gonna bless you with wisdom and knowledge, which is your stability. That's you putting on this this armor, this breastplate, the helmet. That's right? right? That's, that's you having this protection. You don't people don't even see it. The scriptures speak about when when two or three are gathered, there I am in the midst of them. The scriptures speak about how how the, the how angels camp with about them that fear the Lord. So right. we are protected, man, when we have the Lord. That's right. When, when we are following the Lord, when we are submitted, when we have fully submitted ourselves to the Lord, when we have fully put off the old man. That's right, bro. Right. And you can and that's the only way that you're gonna be able to get this this uh protection, this this uh this clothing that the brother was just mentioning, right? Mm-hmm. The breastplate, the helmet, everything, yeah. man. That's right, that armor. That armor, right. Uh, I got that Ephesians if you want. Yeah, yeah, con. Yeah, you know, because I think that's um, you know, uh the spirit that uh you know brothers and sisters should be in is that all hell is about to break loose and cleave on to Yahweh by Shimei I was shy as much as possible because we as the scriptures say, we are uh, the Lord called us a worm, man. We we have no right. defense. Yahweh right. Bashim Yahweh Shai is our defense, man. So if you don't have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you, you're through, man. You're through. That's right. That's you right. Con, this is Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, mm-hmm. not as fools, but as a wise. And to be circumspect, right? Cir- circum 
means circle. So look to uh, means around. Inspect means to look. Right. So be circumspect to look around, not just right. physically. Right. But always keeping yourself, you know, watching what's happening in the news, watching what's happening in the articles, watch, watching what information the brothers are putting on on the camp channels, breaking bread with your brothers. The brothers like, yo, you see what's happening with this? You see what's happening with that? Iron shopping iron. You're being right. circumspect because you know what's going to come. Right? right. So see that, that see, Ephesians 515, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools. You see? But as wise, if you in the the scriptures, we clearly brought it out earlier. The house of uh uh the 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 heart of fools are in the house of mirth. Right. So if you in the spirit of mirth, then you're not being circumspect and you're not being wise, but you're being a fool, man. Verse 16, <laughs> redeeming the time because the days are evil. That's right. You right, gotta verse... know the time you're in, man. That's right. Yeah. Verse 17, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding that the what the will of the Lord is. That's right. See, and you can't be unwise, man. You gotta right. be understanding. You got it, brother. Oh, yeah, Slocky. I was gonna say, and the will of the Lord is destroy this bitch, man. That's right. <laughs> you know, so That's like, right. What side you want to be on? The Lord's coming to save his elect. And destroy the wicked, man. And two thirds of our own people are part of that wicked right now, man. That's right. That's absolutely you, right, man. You, know, you brothers and sisters that come across this message, if you're on the fence or whatever, you that should strike fear into your hearts, man. Because the Lord has a umpteenth amount of ways to kill anybody, man. That's anybody right. in his soul, man. He, you know, he is a father of spirits, man. He created us all. So naturally, his name is. Uh, uh, Yahweh means he is, he exists, he is to be. He's that's everything. right. That's so right. He, he can, you know, as the scriptures say, Amos, um, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? The Lord does everything, man. So you that should strike fear in your heart. So you should want to be and inquire, you know, from the from the uh, um the brothers that are uh, uh, the prophets, you know, the apostles and elders, you know, that have been uh, uh teaching this word. You know, how can they? Uh, uh, obtain salvation, man. That should be the question. How can I obtain salvation? How can I receive mercy when all these terrible things are on the horizon, man? That's the question you should be asking, man. If you're an Israelite, if you're a heathen, then hey, whatever, man. Just, hey, live it up, you know? But for you Israelites, you so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and our fellow brethren that look like the heathen, but their seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob because they were scattered to the, the rest of the nations. Mm -hmm. This message is for you. That's right. So yeah, you repent while the doors of mercy are still open, man. That's right. So so, what type of spirit are you gonna be in? What type of spirit you gonna be in, man? That's, That's right. Be. That should be the title the of I this like lesson, it. man. What it's type of spirit are you gonna be in? Right. 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 Hey, man, and we 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 pray to you. How about Shemiah Shah that this lesson is um edifying to the elect? All right. Uh, let's give all praises, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakakwadash. We're going to give double honors again to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, who rule well and taught us truth. Shalom to the Bayad Dawada and Shalom to the Sincere Aquathium. We're going to finish off by saying DTA. DTA. Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball. And Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. And Lord willing, on to the next lesson. Shalom. Shalom.